Hiya peeps. I'm here to show you um, what I just made and it's all Stacy's fault on the pink poodle. Um, you take CDs and you either take your scissors or a knife and you scrape a little bit of the label then you put some duct tape on it and you lay the duct tape on there get it stuck and then you pull this off and as a result you have the silver part here and you end up with a CD that's clear. Now this stuff you can use for other things because there's like a couple of little tacky parts but you can fix that pretty easy but uh, you can make punches out of these and all kinds of stuff flowers you name it. A couple of them had silk, uh, clear um, labels on them so that's kind of how that one turned out but uh, here's one where I couldn't get everything off and um, there you go um, I have really bad arthritis and things that I do with my hand are really tough so um, it takes me like off and on a lot of time because I can't do things like everybody else can but uh, Stacy's got arthritis too, RA, so she understands how I feel. But you just make yourself a grid and you decide what sizes that you want to make. You put the CD on top of it and you take a Sharpie and you mark all the little squares with a Sharpie. Then you take some super tough shears, some scissors, and then you cut them out and you end up with a whole bunch of tiny little pieces. Now if you notice on mine, I've got some little odd pieces here on the sides. What I do is save these pieces and flip them over to each other so that I'll have the same size, just a little bit wonky. And that's something similar to this, for example. Um, the part that's in the middle is something similar to this because you can see that that little part would have been right about there where the hole was. So I ended up with a whole bunch of them and uh, there was her, her link on her channel was to the lady that taught her how to do it and then she did it a little different and they both turned out absolutely awesome but I changed it up a little bit myself and um, I even did the very very tiny little pieces like this that I ended up cutting off like these little pieces and they're not as nice and fancy as this one but I can still use those they're absolutely gorgeous and I love them but I just wanted to show you that some of them came apart when I pulled them off of the the aluminum foil and this is heavy duty foil by the way I put them in my oven and I have like a mini table oven it's like a rotisserie a bake broil and uh, something else convection oven and it takes a little bit for mine to get heated up but I put it on 450 and I kept putting 10 minutes 10 more minutes 10 more minutes until I got them where they're supposed to be and for my little oven, since it's not a normal oven, it took me probably about 50 minutes. So about five times of doing 10 minutes. But here's the ones that came apart. Here's the other side of them right here. And if you notice, flip them over, both of those are just absolutely gorgeous. And those are the ones, if you see the silver in them, those are the ones that I didn't get all the tape, uh, all of the, the top of the CD on them. A lot of people don't know that CDs aren't actually on the bottom where it gets scratched. The CD information and in all the movies and stuff is on the top. And that's what we've removed here. This is, this is the stuff that was on the CD. That's what held the information on it. So whenever you rip this off, all you've got left is just clear plastic. And uh, you can clean it off with... Uh, alcohol solution because sometimes there's a little bit of color left on them and then they're ready to go so I'm even going to try a CD cover 
that plastic looks similar and feels similar to this and I thought well that would be great and I haven't figured out how to get my edges off yet but I'm sure I will probably include pliers and things like that but that triples the amount of stuff that I can get off of a CD because you've got this and you've got that and then you've got the back so yeah all of that is usable and I'm wondering if I can use this so I'm trying to figure it out but yeah for four times whatever mm -hmm. one CD will make tons and tons of stuff so I would give it a try and um, it's it's just absolutely fantastic you get all kinds of super cool stuff you just lay out some paint um, on your nonstick mat and use a brush and just uh, you paint the bottom one so for example this is my bottom one you put the paint on it and then you sandwich it together with the matching piece and then you set it down on the foil then whenever it bakes it sandwiches that paint in between and it becomes a tile like this and it's definitely addicting and Stacy warned us that it was and uh, it's just been fabulous trying these out but I'm gonna take all of these off and then I'll come back and show you my end results Well, I guess I can't do that. Okay, well, I'm just going to grab a few of these that I had taken off earlier just to kind of give you a little bit of a look. And uh, they're real easy to take off of the heavy-duty foil. This one here is absolutely gorgeous. Can you see that? It's just absolutely fabulous. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. But... I'll take these all off a different time, but I just wanted to show you some of the other really neat colors. See that? This one I couldn't get all of the metallic stuff off of the CD, but it's absolutely beautiful. And look on the back. They're beautiful there too. And oh my gosh, they're so weightless. They, you, you can't even feel how heavy they are. They're just so light. But yeah, so if you like this, Give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't and be sure to share it because Stacy's all about sharing everything and she shares the uh, the real deal. She shares all of the stuff that you have to do. Not like me because I, I really couldn't do it at the same time. I couldn't videotape it because I have to start and stop so many times because I hurt really, really bad my joints and stuff I've got so many medical issues that I'm just I'm, I'm not healthy a lot of times so I can't you know just get up and do something for hours and hours because I'm just simply not well enough to do that but I hope that uh, I can find a couple of little things to use these for pretty soon and then poke back and show you the results of you know what uh, what I had worked out for them and I know this is a loud sound here but I just wanted to show you all so much about the absolutely gorgeous uh, pieces that I got from here so be patient with me here just a second some, some of the places I had a little bit too much paint in between them and the paint would get burnt off and just it just comes off like that so I'm gonna uh, trim these up another thing was that she said you know it's easy for you to to trim the edges there are some sharp edges because it's a CD and it's plastic and it's pretty sharp you know whenever that happens but um, it's really super easy to just take your scissors and trim the edges off so if you want to do something that's very addictive but absolutely fun and rewarding, try these. Trust me. Trust me. You are absolutely going to love them. 
the process that you go through to get them. Sometimes it's kind of a pain in the butt because, you know, you got Sharpie marker all, all over you and you're, you know, sitting here trimming them all up and then you're painting them all and you get your hands and fingers all dirty and, you know, yeah, it's, it's quite a process. But you know what? This is the very first one I've done and I guarantee you, I guarantee you, Within the next two days, I'm going to do three more sheets of these puppies because I got some stuff to um, do them with. I've got lots of CDs and um, I'm definitely just going to hit it and uh, yeah, see here's all the stuff left over. Those are just the little paint blobs from what the paint that came out on them. So um, the ones that, you know, I had filled too much but anyway look at this gorgeous 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 this is my very first try Stacy look at this look what you have done to me girl you have ex absolutely gotten me stuck and addicted to these puppies help <laughs> just kidding Stacy thank you so much for sharing them and uh, for your videos that are honest to goodness just you sit down you show us every single step and I really love your attitude because you're so funny and you're just straight up and you're really awesome gal so um, stop by pink poodles channel I'll link hers below mine but be sure to subscribe and uh, share and if you like this, give me a thumbs up and please go to Pink Poodle's website because she shows you the exact steps. The only thing that I did that was different was I didn't put mine on broil. I put it on bake and it was at 450 for about 50 minutes because mine doesn't heat up as well. But you have to make sure that you do these in an area where the fumes won't get to you. Make sure that you have fan on that's sucking the fumes back out so that uh, you won't get, you know, inhale all that junk. But, uh, yeah, okay, so I'm going to let you go now, honest to goodness. I just wanted to share this because they're so fun and they're so beautiful. And uh, here you go. Try it out. It's awesome. Take care, peeps. Bye.